what else can we do with stem cells? There's hematopoietic stem cells, which help the blood system and the immune system. There's mesenchymal stem cells, which help bone cartilage, uh, nerve, uh, tendon, and ligaments. There's the endothelial uh, stem cells, which help uh, blood vessel and heart. There's endothelial stem cells, which help the gut. And there's something called the undifferentiated somatic stem cell. And they're not even quite sure what that does, but they think it really helps nervous tissue. And so as we age, our cells start to die off and we start to lose stem cells. So as an anti-aging program, you could actually get umbilical cord blood. Uh, and there's plenty of studies now that show that umbilical cord blood can help in autoimmune disease. It can help in osteoarthritis. We just recently had a patient who was 94 years old and he came in because his golf game wasn't what it used to be. He couldn't twist on his knees. His orthopedic surgeons wanted to do knee replacements on him and then he felt he wouldn't be able to heal that. So he got some umbilical cord blood, not only intravenously for his body in general, but also injection in his knees to help with the inflammation and help regrow cartilage. And he's doing very well. In the current literature, stem cells have been shown to help rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, uh, an autoimmune disease called Shrogan's disease, diabetes type one, general gut health, a body mass, uh, when men age, between the ages of 60 and 80, they lose 50% of their muscle mass. And that's because the, the stem cell that's located in the muscle, something called a satellite cell, starts to age out and they go away. And so you can help replenish that. 